Okay, so this warm-up is going to continue looking at uh, evaluating functions. And in this first box to the left, upper left, it says consider the function given by the rule f of x equals x plus 1. So remember, we can rewrite this as y equals x plus 1. So what this rule is saying is to get the output y, we need to take each x value and add 1. So down below, this table wants us to show the ruler calculation in the middle. So we take our x of negative 1, add 1. Take our x value of positive 2, add 1. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That's your y value. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. As a point, this would be the point negative 1, 0, and 2, 3, and putting those x and y values together. All right, uh, table's done. Let's move to the right. It says, if you know that f of 4 equals 2, then what xy coordinate point must lie on the graph of y equals f of x? So just taking this notation and rewriting it as a point. Remember, whatever's in parentheses is our x, okay? And this f of 4, we can cross it out, is the y value. So we know our y value is 2, and then going back to the x, the x is 4. So that's the point 4, 2. To do another one, or just to give you another example with that, if f of 6 equals 10, then it's the point 6, 10. Again, this is our x, and this together is the y, or the output. All right, bottom left-hand corner. If you know that f of negative 3 equals 5, oh, I didn't realize that there was more than one example. Actually, there's, <laughs> there's two more. Sorry about that, guys. So if f of 3, uh, negative 3 equals 5, then what's the point? Again, that would be the point negative 3, 5. And then if f of 0 is 7, then that's the point 0, 7. Okay? And there's your warm-up.